Driving narrow streets in a rusty car Leading to the sea, think we're getting close We should take a pick, baby strike a Hey guys, welcome to today's live stream. I'm coming to you live from a Florida house, uh, first live stream, so bear with me uh, on I don't know what kind of crazy could happen, but we'll find out. Today we're talking about how and why you should automate, or actually when you should automate your travel business. So if you want to learn when you should start thinking about automation, why you might want to automate, how it can change your life, and how it saves me thousands of hours every single year, then keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the live stream today. Come take my hand, I will walk with you. I will let go till you say so. There isn't anything I wouldn't do. Wanna make sure that you understand. All right, guys, don't forget to take a moment, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube. We bring you great content every single week to help you grow and supersize your travel businesses, and I don't want you to miss a thing. Um, and if you're new here, type a little I'm new in comments. I would love to welcome you to our community. If you are new, you might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams. I started in the travel industry nearly 30 years ago. It's been a minute. I own and operate my own award-winning nationally recognized travel agency, but I'm best known for being the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which, which helps people just like you launch, grow, and supersize your travel businesses all over the world. So everything we train you on the channel and here on the live streams and our shows and our podcasts and all the different places are actually vetted through my travel agency as well as the hundreds of travel brands that we support. Um, and guys, today we are talking about automation. Do you have automation in your systems? And I know, don't get freaked out because I'm going to kind of walk you through like why to automate, when to automate, and the things that you should be automating today. This is one of those things that feels heavy if you've never done it before. And speaking from someone who didn't used to really be a techie person, it always intimidated me to think about, oh my gosh, I got to learn another thing. But here's the thing with automation. It absolutely changes your life. And this is why I'm so hooked on always having great automation in my business because it is the one thing that allows me to have crazy work-life balance. So we're going to dive into that today. Hopefully you get some great tidbits. Ask some questions in um, the feed if you're watching on YouTube and Facebook because I'm going to go over at the end of the live stream. If you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer those live at the end. Um, so let's start by talking about how to tell if it's time for you to automate. So maybe you've done a, a homegrown, maybe you've done a DIY agency, or maybe you're just getting started and you didn't invest in automating from the beginning. Let's talk about some signs and signals on when it's time. So the first one is if you are feeling like you don't have work-life balance. I'll give you an example. If you are working from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., or maybe you have your travel business and you have a full-time job because your travel business is not at the point where it can sustain you leaving another job. Oh my gosh, it's even more important to automate if you have that situation going on, right? So if you feel like you are just working around the clock and you don't have work-life balance, that's the first signal that says, what do I need to change or what do I need to automate to get my life back? I am a big proponent of building your business around your life. I didn't get into having my own travel businesses, and I have three, you guys. I have the agency, I have our consulting slash travel school, Careers on Vacation, and we also have our sister company, Wanderlust Social, which helps travel agents with marketing. So I run three companies. I also have three kids. We also have three properties for the businesses, right? So <laughs> businesses and homes, if you combine them. I like to do things in threes, I don't know. But the point is, I cannot do everything that I do and be able to breathe or sleep eight hours every single night, because let me tell you, I need my sleep. <laughs> if I didn't have automation in all of my businesses. So if you feel if you feel that bubbling up where you just don't have time or you're not able to shut it down on the weekends, that's the next one. Can you turn off your, your mind from your businesses on Friday afternoon and then get back after it on Monday? If it can't operate without you being touching it physically every single day, that's another sign that you need to start thinking about automations. The other thing or sign or signal that could pop up is if you find yourself repeating the same processes over and over again. I'll give you an example. When I first started my agency way back when, I loved 
talking about Disney. Like, you guys know, I have we're in the Disney house, right? We bought a house last year, if you didn't see that on YouTube. And I'm obsessed with Disney. I love Disney. So when I would get a client on the phone to sell them a Disney vacation, I would want to tell them back then everything about fast passes. And based, I would, based on their kids' ages, I would have dining recommendations. I would have all these things that I would tell every single client. And what I recognized was every time I sold the Disney package, it was taking me an hour to an hour and a half on my phone call to go through because there was just so much knowledge I wanted to share. So one of the first things that I did from a very basic way back then was I was like, I need to, I need a way to put my recommendations either on a physical form like a PDF or in my case, I did it on a video so it felt more personal where I had my top dining recommendations. I had my kind of a, you're going to Disney, here's everything Cindy wants you to know, boom, 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 two or three videos. And I systematized that process so now I could do a Disney booking in 30, 35 minutes and I could do triple the amount of bookings but still deliver that amazing recommendations that I cared about and wanted to connect my families with. So that was the first little thing that I recognized and that when I did that, I recognized the power of automations and then I started looking into other types of automations, which we'll get into here in just a second. But if you find yourself repeating the same thing, having to do it, I guarantee you there's an automation that can fix that. The other thing is, does your business feel extremely disorganized? Is it all over the place? And listen, I have a brain that works all over the place, but when it comes to my businesses, I'm very clear on my client journey, on how I systematize, on how I serve, how I sell, how I support everything that we do, not just for clients, but also for all the staff that we have. So if, if it's feeling disorganized, though, that's another sign. So if you're feeling any of those signs or signals, keep listening because you're going <laughs> to learn even more. All right, how does automation change your life? If you dive into learning more about automation, thinking about getting these systems in place for your travel business, I had the I, we already had this uh, title on the live stream list, so we already knew we were doing this. But I had this is how the universe works with like me as a trainer and educator. I feel like as my my purpose in life is to show up in this space and help you guys, right? But the universe sometimes sends me a little reminder, and we went, uh, Monday was a very busy day. So Mondays are traditionally busy. I don't do a lot of client calls on Monday, but I do a lot of project work. So I worked all day Monday, but about 4.30 on Monday, I shut it down, and I was like, you know what? I said, I'm going to take the kids to Magic Kingdom for dinner. And uh, we'll just go for a couple hours or whatever. But I was like, how crazy is my life that I can literally on a Monday night where it's crazy and busy, I was very productive during the day, but I can walk away and know that my systems and processes and automations, all the things that needed to happen for follow-ups that day and all the things that needed to be prepped for tomorrow and all of the sales and all the things were still happening while we we're at Disney on Monday night. And I was, as I was riding the people mover on like, I don't know, like my fourth rotation because kids were waiting for Space Mountain. <laughs> I'm not about that waiting game anymore. You will find me on the people mover. Anyway, I was like, wow, like the reason I can have this work-life balance or feel like I can just haul off to Magic Kingdom, I don't have the stress and pressure of a million things on my desk because I have automated properly in all of my businesses. So I really do have that freedom to pop in and out of my business because I know that my clients are taken care of, my staff is taken care of, everyone we support is taken care of because of the systems and processes we have in place. So that's just a little like story. Like that's the, that's the reality of having work-life balance. It feels different. And I promise you on Fridays, I might have stuff out on social media, but it is pre-scheduled. I don't work. I am not on social media from Friday to Monday. Um, I feel like that's important. I also am a mom and a wife, and I really cherish that family time. And the way that I do that is through automations, right? All right, so... Um, how it changes your life, you're going to get more freedom back. Uh, you can make more money because your business is working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even when you're not working. That's a huge one. And your service and your sales systems are kind of on demand out there in the world, right? So that's how it changes your life for the better when it comes to automation. Now, I want to talk about how automation saves you thousands of hours. You might think, oh my gosh, Cindy, no way does it save you thousands of hours. 
Well, it does. And in fact, if I did not have any automations, there is no way I could have three companies that do all of the things that my companies do. We have leads coming in every single day, every single hour on a regular basis. So like our, not just our lead flow, but also our vacations that are happening, our, our trips that are happening, and then all of our clients that we support through Careers on Vacation in supporting their businesses. Everything that we do in each company that I run I couldn't do it. There's no way I could do it without automations. It just wouldn't be possible. And not even talking about maintaining work-life balance. And I grew all of my businesses from the ground up, right? Now I got smarter as I went. So after I grew Tripsy automated, I knew with the next company I was going to automate from the beginning and that's, then I can scale faster. So here's what I want you to think about. Um, in terms of hours, any repeatable tasks. What are the repeatable tasks you find yourself doing again and again and again? Scheduling appointments, uh, sending out credit card auth forms, sending out itineraries, sending out welcome back emails, whatever those things are that you are doing again and again, How or your lead flow. When your leads come in, what happens? Do they just sit there until you email them? That's not good. You need to have an automated process. Sales is like get back with them within 15 minutes or less, right? So what are those repeatable tasks you find yourself doing every single day? Even if you have to sit down and do an activity log of like, what am I doing in my week? That's a great way to like do a work study for yourself and then go and highlight at the end of the week and go, oh my gosh, I'm spending this many hours doing this thing. Can I automate it? That's the first place to start. Then I want you to think about your nurturing processes. So for prospective employees, when they plop into your ecosystem, so whether they come to you through a lead capture or an email or out in the world you meet them somewhere or a video or whatever your marketing channels that you might have out in the world, however your leads get to you, when they land in your ecosystem, what is your process to nurture them as leads? That is so important. Because you don't convert people on day one. You shouldn't think you're going to convert people on day one. You ha they have to build that no like trust factor. We talked about that in other videos. That's what we help people with in careers on vacation. But think about from a process perspective when they land, because guess what? They might be reaching out to 10 agencies. So how is yours going to show up different? How is yours going to show up right away? Think about your nurturing process. What does that look like? You also want to think about your sales process. What does that look like? What things can you automate? Everything from scheduling to proposals to follow-ups to how you build their itinerary once they book the vacation. What systems can you have in place to automate those processes to make your life so much easier? The next one I want you to think about are your service protocols. So these are things like you know, did I book their seat assignments? Did I check their flight connections? Did I make sure I, sent, I reminded them before their vacation and sent them all their confirmations or sent them all their vouchers or their tour information or their cruise information? What is the, what is the leading up to the vacation processes that you can automate when they return from vacation or even while they're on vacation? Are you doing a, an automated check-in to see how things are going? And then when they return, how was the vacation? Are you asking them uh, to give you feedback on that supplier if they had a great time are you asking them to do a review and is that process automated so those are things when I talk about the service processes that are really key and so important um, and then also if you're an agency owner I know a lot of agency owners follow this channel because they're really curious on how we grow and how we teach our agency owners that we work with oh my gosh you guys should all have processes in place for your staff for your independent contractors for your travel agents that work under you you have to automate that process if you want to scale in a powerful way and even if you have a team of 15 there are so many things you can automate to make them more efficient make them more successful and really increase your profit margins as an agency so whether you're a boutique agency 20 or less or you're a super agency you know 50 60 100 200 500 i mean if you're getting into you know, 50 plus, you really, you, you're not going to get very far unless you have automations in place. So think about that for your staff, just like you think about it for your client journey, okay? Um, scheduling processes, I threw in there, I think, three times because that's one that's so easy to do from day one. So the next thing I want to talk about, guys, I'm going to get to questions right after this next uh, portion, but when is the right time to automate your business? My vote is to do it from day one. 
if you have not even become a travel agent yet, which by the way, if you haven't become a travel agent, make sure you go over and get our masterclass to figure out if this is even for you. You can go to cruiseonvacation.com slash masterclass. This is a totally free hour long session where I walk you through the different ways to become a travel agent. There's a, several different ways you wanna find the one that's right for you. So start there if you're new. Um, but if you, whether you are, haven't started yet, or maybe you are in that phase where you are now feeling the crunch of your time, or you're an agency owner and everything feels disorganized, um, do it from the start if you haven't started your business, and then you're just better off. You can scale faster, you can grow faster, you can make money faster, like it's a no-brainer. If you've already uh, grown and now you're a little disorganized, then just do it now. Like Figure out what you need to do and start implementing those processes. There's no judgment either way. You didn't do anything wrong. You don't know what you don't know. That's what I always tell our careers on vacation students when they start. They're like, Cindy, we, we didn't know this. Or Cindy, oh my gosh, it's changed my business. Or Cindy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you would never would have known it because you the questions that you don't know to ask always get you in the most trouble. So maybe you didn't ask this from day one. You didn't think about automation from day one. No judgment. Just figure out which things are really causing those time crunches in your travel business and make sure you automate them quickly and efficiency and quickly and efficiently and then get more time back. And guess what? When you have more time, then you can do things like market better, work on your, your grand vision, right? Kind of steering your organization, work on growth and things like that. So I cannot sing the praises of automation more. This is something that we really work hard at at Careers on Vacation to teach our students from day one if they are new agents. If you're on our experience track, then we really walk you through where is your business at today, help us understand, and then let's fix and correct these things and get systems in place. And then, of course, for our agency owners, we do the same as well. Um, guys, if you are thinking about Cruise on Vacation, please apply early. Uh, we are almost booked out for summer. This has been our biggest busiest year um, ever really in the history of the company. So many people are in need of great travel agents. So I encourage you to go ahead and, go ahead and apply. Careersonvacation.com slash ready now if you want to apply for the program. And yes, our program is all about three things. Curriculum, coaching and community. You get to work with real people and we are approaching nearly 200 plus amazing case studies um, for clients who have worked with us. To, so if you want to get an idea of the results that we deliver in the travel industry, helping you either launch or grow your travel brand, check out our case studies over there on YouTube. Um, but do that early, please, because it's crazy. We had a call yesterday and um, oh my gosh, we had so much fun, but it's classes are full. So there might be a little wait list. Bear with us, but get on on the wait list early if you can. All right, I'm going to go over here and check questions. Let's see if you guys have any questions today. And also tell me what you think of the new setup that we're working on here in Florida. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Okay, hey God. Let me go over to our live stream here. Oh, hang on. I went into the mastermind and go to the regular live stream. Good, good, good. Yes, a few comments. Okay, let's see what's coming in here. I have, oh my gosh, Nicole, you are so funny. Nicole is one of my um, Wanderlust CEO and Careers on Vacation graduates. She's like, I'm new. You are so not new. Nice try, my friend. Kathy's a newbie. Hey, Kathy, so great to meet you. Elizabeth, good morning. Elizabeth, I have to tell you, I've been watching your social media. Elizabeth just went, we have... For our graduate community, sometimes we do in-person workshops, and Elizabeth came out to Austin a couple weeks ago and did our Wanderlust Influencer Workshop with our amazing trainer, Brandon, and oh my gosh, the content you guys are creating since you've been to that workshop, obsessed. I'm so proud of everybody that came out to that workshop. It's nutso. Carrie, good morning. Good to see you, my friend. All right, let me make sure I don't pronounce this incorrectly. Sarika? Wow, that's a pretty name. Good morning to you too, my friend. Um, Sam says, what is, what is the mess with the Facebook algorithm if we have posts scheduled but decides to post in the moment? Yeah, so here's the thing. We noticed some things going on with Facebook the last couple weeks. Sam's one of my careers on vacation graduates too. By the way, if you guys aren't following Sam, she is such a cool... She's such a cool vibe. Sam literally made a cookie for me of my face that's on my Instagram. Incredible. She's like an artist, uh, and she has her own travel business, which is great. Sam, here's the thing. Um, Meta 
as it's known, right? Facebook slash Instagram, the new Facebook world. They are pushing out a lot of new things. In fact, make sure I'm going to be doing some updates on the grad group soon and on the mem site soon for all my students and grads. Um, there's some new stuff coming, but as they roll these things out, Facebook always has this period where everything is super glitchy. We actually just, uh, we have another uh, Instagram expert that we hired that works with you guys inside the program now, and she's testing some, ama her name's Kelly, and she's testing some amazing things. Um, and yesterday, uh, just last couple days, Instagram rolled something new out where you can pin posts and do different things, but then the minute we did it, it like broke everything, and then, but then it came back later. So Sam, there is some glitching going on. That's to be expected whenever Facebook slash Meta slash Instagram rolls out new stuff, but we will keep you posted on the mem site and over in the grad group as stuff happens. Carrie, love the office. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for all of you guys who voted on Instagram. If you're not following us over on Instagram, you can literally see all the house updates for our Disney house that we have going on. There's so much happening um, here. And last week, this was literally like brown, dark wood. And I asked you guys, should I paint it? Oh, I was so nervous to make that decision. You guys not only voted yes to paint it, but you helped me choose the color, which is what we went with. So thank you so much. Um, I love that. Nicole says the fireplace surround is fabulous. Isn't it? So I know I was so nervous to paint it, but I just think it turned out. It's just, I needed it to be brighter because we do so much YouTube filming and I think it came out really, really nice. Um, Elizabeth says it was amazing. Yes. About the workshop and Ebony. Thank you. Yes. I am. The, listen, the, the office is a work in progress. I still have to get our uh, COV, our Wanderlust globe is getting repainted. We have some furniture and rugs and things coming in. You know what I really love? Let's see if I can do this real quick. Do you guys see me moving? Hang on. I have a moving desk so I can stand up and train, which I'm so excited about. So I'm like such a, like I trained for years and years and I'm like very like, I use my hands and I love to like move around when I train. So I'm so excited to be able to have a standing desk where I can move it up and down and do different things. So I'm super, super excited about that. Um, so guys, thank you so much for your questions today. This was such a fun live stream. Please think about automation. It's so, so important. And I also want to tell you guys, we have a freebie for everyone. Um, and by the way, you guys, we hit our 25,000 over on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support of our channel and sharing it with people that you know can benefit from learning. Um, and what we did is we put together our top 10 videos that our students and our clients have told us that really helped them at the beginning, even before they were working with us. We put them all in this little packet for you. So you can go to wanderlustceo.com slash spring and you can download that for totally free. It's just our little like giveaway and it kind of is the collect. We have hundreds of videos on YouTube now, so it kind of puts in those top 10 that we thought you guys would benefit from. So guys, thank you so much for watching today. I wish you so much love, so much abundance wherever you are in the world. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. She's calling me.